Welcome to You Are Your Name podcast. My name is Dakin Ariel, your host for this episode. This podcast series is based upon the teachings of the Cavalarian philosophy. One of the principles taught in the philosophy is the mathematical principle of name, which is the mechanism for creating our individual thinking pattern. Often our name consultants are asked about the influence of a nickname. What influence, if any, does the nickname have on my thinking? So a nickname can either accentuate or diminish the constructive qualities of the given first name. It all depends on the mathematical formulas of both the first name and the nickname. We might have a nickname that adds many fine mental qualities to our thinking that may not be contained within our legal first name. But just as often, our nickname can add destructive qualities that detract and diminish the mental strengths of the legal first name. Sometimes people use a nickname at work but revert to their legal name at home. I've worked with a Tony whose legal name was Anthony, and his wife called him Anthony exclusively at home, and at work he was known by Tony. As Tony, he was responsible, capable, and very friendly. He was conscientious and was prone to worry. These are all attributes of the name of Tony. At home, as Anthony, he was much quieter and more reserved. We noticed the difference at office parties where his wife was included and referred to him as Anthony. He really was a different person altogether. The name of Anthony could be much harder to understand as they lack verbal expression, tend to be loners, and can suffer from moods. Many nicknames are detrimental to use. If you know any James who go by Jim, you'll know what I mean. The name of James creates a quick and clever mind, very expressive, fond of debate, and generally a happy nature. They can be scattering and disorganized at times, but they're hard not to like. If James goes by Jim, he'll become much more intense, driven, loving change and travel, and hating any restrictions. Although he has humanitarian ideals and wants to do something worthwhile, he can suffer from intense moods, depression, and even contemplate suicides at times. A Jim can become bitter and cynical because the name attracts losses and disappointments with people. You can get a free name report from our website to see how your specific first name and nickname interact. You'll be able to evaluate if they are adding to or detracting from your overall happiness, health, and success. For this episode, we will describe the influence of using the name of Helen. Because Cynthia, Myrna, Faith, Merrill, which is M-E-R-L-E, and Nita have the same name formula, the the summary would apply to each of these names as well. Our presenter, Lara Brown, is a long-standing Kablarian student, and she's taught our online courses for many years and is very well qualified to speak on this principle. Helen has good taste, and she appreciates material value. She's often a pioneer in the business world. She has excellent leadership qualities and can often organize in the financial field. She just seems to know what needs to be done to make a company more efficient. She's very capable and able to handle finances and the pressures of the business world. Helen is positive and self-reliant. She doesn't need anybody leaning over her shoulder or telling her what to do. She's ambitious and interested in being highly successful in business. Helen is usually even-tempered and unemotional. If she has to fire someone, well, it's just business. They weren't really adding anything to the company, so they have to go. She's strongly focused on her goals. With communication, Helen is matter-of-fact. If she happens to be in business, her employees know there's no monkey business or no chatting around the water cooler. She's often very successful in business, and so perhaps she gets taken out for dinner and she assumes it's a romantic date. But then she finds out he's not really interested in romance. He wants some sound business advice. Helen is often admired for business acumen, but suffers personally, for she finds it hard to express more compassionate and inspirational qualities that bring personal fulfillment. She would find it difficult to express how she feels, perhaps with her children or her partner, So family responsibility comes ahead of family nurturing. So her little youngster might say, Mommy, you never come to my baseball games. 
and Helen will say, well, honey, I'm working hard so that you can go to a good school, have music lessons, nice quality clothes. So it's not easy for her to be soft and affectionate and tender, to express her inner feelings. And Helen would find it difficult to merge with her partner. She likes to make her own decisions. She's so independent, and she would never want to have to ask for money. She'd rather earn it herself. With all her business ability, this name does not bring happiness. She craves affection and understanding, but rarely finds it. So this causes frustration, repression, and lack of emotional expression. With her friends, she's very loyal, but not sometimes very tactful. She might say to her friend, you should dump that boyfriend. He has no ambition. He's no good for you. With health weaknesses, she would suffer through the senses of the head. Weak eyes, teeth problems, sinus problems, headaches, perhaps loss of hair. And often this quality suffers from female disturbances, perhaps difficulty in childbirth. So in conclusion, although Helen may have a certain amount of success in her business life, she would find it hard to express love and affection to her family and her friends, and her health would suffer as well. Don't forget to get your free name and birth date report from our website so that you can see how your names are interacting to create your thinking pattern. Enter your first name, any nicknames, your surname, any married surnames, and your date of birth, and you'll receive a report on how these names are affecting your thinking and therefore influencing your life. Visit www.cabalarians.com, that's K-A-B-A-L-A-R-I-A-N-S.com, or Easier to remember, www.youareyourname.com, and it will forward it to the same site. Whenever you're ready, here are three ways we can help you. Number one, the Balanced Name Recommendation Service. Join the thousands of others who have harmonized their names with their inner potential to improve their health, happiness, and success. Number two, learn the principles of mental freedom. Participate in our online training program to gain the essential tools to create all the progressive changes you seek in your life. These proven truths will open up new perspectives and accelerate your attainment of health, happiness, and success. Number three, let Kalex Solutions help you choose a balanced name for your business because many business names are an impediment to one's overall business success.